Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. How does he or she see you? This reading is timeless and for this reading I'm using four different decks. I'll shuffle and pull four cards from each deck to form four different piles. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, oops. The people who go straight to the pile selection miss all the fun. Cuatro. That is cuatro, isn't it? Yes, it is. Bueno. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay, these cards need a good hard shuffle. Uno más. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Throat chakra check. <coughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Bueno, four beautiful piles. And this is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. And this is pile four. If 
you chose pile one, here is your reading. Ten of Wands, <clears throat> Seven of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, <clears throat> Throat Chakra, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, Judgment, Four of Swords, Three of Cups, The Hermit, Death, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords again. Your person of interest sees you as someone who is damn near impossible to get to know. Uh, they see that you have your guard up. There's this wall around you. Uh, you're very serious. You're a very hard worker. You're very goal-oriented, ambitious. They wish that you would just relax and let go. <clears throat> um, they have a lot of respect for you, but you also frustrate this person. Um, they want to come in and <clears throat> really get to know you, but you're very cautious. Uh, it takes you a while to really open up to someone. It takes you a while to really establish trust in a relationship. You could have a lot of baggage from past relationships. You could be very um, cynical And whatever this connection is, you doubt it. You don't have faith in this connection. And your person of interest can see that. I don't feel like you've ever been married. I feel like you're just starting out on your journey. Um, you're probably an introvert. You're not especially expressive. Because, I mean, we don't have any cups until the last row. We have seven of cups and three of cups. Um, it could be in social situations you have to drink to really break the ice. Uh, you have to drink a little bit to loosen up. You're probably very selective you're very discerning. You don't let just anyone into your circle, into your life. Um, your main focus right now is on work. And taking care of yourself. You could be healing from a really toxic relationship that just really knocked you flat on your ass. Um. And it 
could be that this relationship, this connection has just been online. It could be that this person started sending you direct messages on social media and you just see this person as being thirsty. You don't feel like they really want to get to know you in your totality. It's just they're turned on by your pictures maybe. Um, they have you built up in their head as this fantasy and you feel like the conversations you've had have been pretty superficial. Um, you could be testing this person to see if they really want to get to know you or if they're just looking for a good time is what I'm getting from this. And your perception of this person could be correct, but the theme of this pick a card is how do they see you? So they are attracted to you, um, but they see you as someone who has this quiet intensity. Uh, you're not really good at flirting. There's nothing lightweight or superficial about you. You're very authentic, but you're hard to get to know. So, you probably have a lot of earth in your natal chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. As I pointed out before, Ten of Wands, although that is a fire card because the wands are fire, it is associated with Saturn. So, strong Saturn energy here. You could have Capricorn rising, uh, but you're very intimidating. And this person is frustrated because they want you to just loosen up and let go and they want to have fun getting to know you. They wish that you would flirt more. They're not used to this kind of interaction where there are so many blocks. <clears throat> um, so, to, so to sum it up, if I could just sum it up in one word, I would say that um, your person finds you to be very intense. No, I wouldn't say intense. I would say intimidating. Use either one of those words, intense, intimidating, so two words, intense, intimidating is what sums it up. And they probably have a lot of air in their natal chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So they absolutely find you attractive and they see your value with two sixes. That is Venus. Um, they could have some Sagittarius in their chart. They could be really optimistic. And they're a lot more open to new experiences than you are. Um, they're probably an extrovert. And five is Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. You could have Virgo and they could have Gemini, which that's a square. So that's going to create tension. So that's what I have for pile one. If that resonates, let me know. Like. Comment, share, subscribe, which is gracias. And if you chose pile two, Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, King of Cups, Two of Wands, the Fool, Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, Queen of Swords, all these signifiers, King of Swords, Dan, 
Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and Temperance. So this is probably multiple party, meaning you're with someone and your person of interest is with someone else. I mean, that's crazy to have so many signifiers. Um, if you're not in a committed relationship and your person of interest is not in a committed relationship, it could be that you're both just exploring various options. You could both be dating. Um, your person of interest probably sees you as someone who has a lot of options. Um, they're super attracted to you. They see you as someone they could have a significant relationship with. Maybe you have just flirted. You've not really had deep conversations. Um, I don't feel like you and this person have had much interaction in the 3D. Um, because I see these blocks with all these signifiers and then five of cups next to five of pentacles. And then this major arcana, temperance, and the fool. There's probably distance between you. <clears throat> it could be that, similar to pile one, you've only talked online. I'm not seeing intense 3D interaction here. Um... I feel like you flirted. You've had just a few conversations, just a few exchanges on social media or something similar, but this person does not really know you. Um, they could see you as someone who has been hurt in the past. Um, there's a kind of melancholy about you. Maybe if you have interacted on social media, uh, you look sad in a lot of your pictures, you're not smiling. Um, they don't see you as a social butterfly or a raging extrovert. Um, they see you as someone who has a lot of options because you are so attractive and you have this charisma about you. Um, you could be super intelligent and they find you fascinating. They know that if the two of you were to really energetically interact and really get to know each other, you could have something substantial. Um, if you haven't talked much yet, I see that changing with this last row. Eight of Wands over Ace of Swords. I'm seeing passionate, consistent communication that could lead to a relationship. I feel like they see you as their opposite. They're more willing to take a risk 
and put themselves out there, um, they can be very forceful, very blunt in their communication, honest to a thought. Um, they see you as someone who has a lot of class. They like the way you conduct yourself. You seem like someone who is educated and thoughtful. You could have strong Virgo in your natal chart. You probably have a pretty dynamic natal chart. Um, one example of many, you could have Sun and Virgo, Aries rising, Aquarius moon. Could have some stuff in Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces. Um, they find you very intriguing. You probably read a lot, and the two of you could have that in common. You both like to read. Nonfiction, uh, metaphysical books. You could both be into astrology. Um, but I don't think you've even begun to scratch the surface. With this person, I don't feel like you've really taken the time to get to know each other. They see you as someone who is always on the go. You're busy. You have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, you could be a single parent. And again, I'm getting a strong sense that once you and this person really explore this connection, once you take the time to really get to know each other, this could lead to a substantial relationship. You probably have shared values, shared interest. Um, but they're more of a risk taker, they're more of an extrovert. Um, they're a lot more blunt in their communication. You're a lot more careful with how you word things. Um, and you're more reserved is what I'm getting. I feel like this person is being strategic in their approach. Um, because they do have a lot of respect for you and they see that you are busy, you have a life, you have a lot of relationships and they don't want to come across as foolish or immature. They want to impress you. And they probably are thinking on some level that eventually they would like to get into a relationship with you. I'm seeing Gemini for your person, but they could have Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. They could also have Sagittarius. absolutely see your value. Six is Venus. They are attracted. Um, we have another six, four and two, and that's Aquarius, and that's Gemini, and two is Cancer, the moon. So that's what I have for pile two. If that resonates, let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications, which is gracias. And if you chose pile three, we have Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, 
Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, The Hermit, The Hierophant, The World, King of Wands, the Lovers, The Devil, The Empress, Six of Cups, Six of Swords, The Hierophant again, They see you as marriage potential. They see you as someone they could have a committed relationship with. But with all this major arcana, I don't feel like you and this person have really gotten to know each other. It's been this way for all three of the piles so far. I'm seeing the same thing. I'm seeing a lot of emotional and psychic distance, not a lot of 3D interaction. Um, so this is very abstract, them thinking that they could have a good marriage with you. So for them to think they could have a good marriage with you means that since you don't really know each other, they are attracted and they do respect you. Um, what they do know of you, they like. They're very attracted. They could see you as their ideal. They see you as someone who is very stable, very rooted in reality. Um, they see you as someone who has good manners and you're mindful of your boundaries, but you'll absolutely speak your truth. You won't be intimidated. You're not scared to express who you are. They see you as someone who's very independent. Um, that really turns them on, how independent you are. Two nines. Nine is Mars, Aries. They see you as a quiet warrior. They see you as a badass. Um, they are intimidated by your independence and your intelligence. They sense potential here. They sense the two of you could possibly be soulmates. They sense this could be a spiritual connection. Two sixes, six is Venus. There's probably distance between you. Um, you or your person of interest could be going through a divorce. What I'm getting from this is they don't feel like this is the right time to approach you. This is not the right time to initiate a relationship. I see them admiring you from afar. You probably have strong Virgo in your natal chart. You could have Virgo and Libra. Um, I mean, there's a lot showing up here. We've got Virgo, six, that's Venus, so I'm seeing Libra, but that could also be Taurus, and the Hierophant is Taurus, and we have the Hierophant twice, and then we have the Devil, which is Mars and Capricorn. Mars and Capricorn, Saturn and Capricorn. Um, and for the signifier, King of Wands. I feel like your person of interest has a lot of fire in his or her natal chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Seven, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. Oh, the Empress, yeah. 
strong Venus here with the Hierophant twice, which is Taurus, the Empress, and then these two sixes. They find you extremely attractive, not just attractive, extremely attractive. They see you as their ideal, that's what I'm picking up. Um, so I feel like they're just biding their time, they're waiting for the right moment to really approach you, but they do sense tremendous potential, possibly marriage. Because I mean, this last row is all marriage. Uh, the devil, sandwich between the hair font tells me that this could be an unconventional marriage uh, there could be an age gap between you you could come from different cultures um, there's something different about this connection there's singularity here They feel like you could teach them a lot about life in general, love. Um, they see you as someone who has a lot of hard-earned wisdom from a lot of life experience. They have tremendous respect for you. Two sixes, Venus, which rules Libra and Taurus. Four, Aquarius, three, Sagittarius, four and three, that's Neptune, Pisces. So eventually, when the two of you really get going, when you really open up to each other, I feel like this could be a next level spiritual connection where there's mental telepathy and meeting up in the 5D. Maybe the two of you can go to Costa Rica and swig ayahuasca together at some point and open up a whole new world. So that's what I have for pile three. If that resonates, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Muchas gracias. And if you chose pile four, we have the King of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, the Moon, Queen of Wands, Strength, Justice, Keep it to two signifiers, poor five or ten of wands, strength, five of pentacles, queen of pentacles, oops, princess of pentacles, king of cups, five of wands. Seven of Swords. Usually when I see more than one or more than two signifiers, I think multiple party or third party, but for pile four, I mean, third party is always a possibility, but in this instance for pile four, I'm seeing this more as a summation because it's in the last row. If there's ever confusion in the first three rows, I look to the last row for clarification. So your person of interest probably has strong water in his or her natal chart. I'm seeing Pisces with King of Cups over the moon, but they could have Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. They're very intuitive, they're very romantic. They see you as someone who doesn't put up with any amount of bullshit. You're very rooted in reality. You know yourself, you know your worth, and you're not into anything superficial or transitory. 
Um, you like relationships that you can sink your teeth into. You don't like light and fluffy. Okay. So this is a really strong last row. They have a lot of respect for you. I'll call out a possible astro combo here. Okay. You could have Sun and Taurus, Libra rising, Libra rising, Moon and Aquarius, and the Hermetic Tarot, Seven of Swords is Moon and Aquarius. Sun and Taurus, Libra rising, Moon and Aquarius, and something in Sagittarius with Three of Wands. Or you could be a ninth houser. You could have your sun or sun planet in the ninth house, which is the house of Sagittarius. But you're a truth teller. Uh, you don't bullshit. Very authentic. They see you as someone who's very authentic. Uh, someone they could potentially have a substantial relationship, possibly marriage with. They see you as someone who is worth the wait. Um. Uh, Right now, there's some imbalance, King of Cups twice. I feel like the imbalance comes from your person of interest. Um, oh, so I'll take King of Cups as one signifier. And then we have Queen of Wands. Um, you definitely have some fire in your natal chart. Strength, of course, that is Leo. They could have Leo as well. But I'm seeing a water-dominant chart for your person of interest. And they like the contrast between the two of you because they're very... Um, they're very romantic. They're very head in the clouds. They're a dreamer, basically. Uh, they could be struggling with some kind of addiction drugs, alcohol, pornography. Um, and they see you as someone who doesn't struggle. They see you as someone who is very adept, very competent, very high functioning in the 3D. They see you as a badass. They're a bit scared. They may feel unworthy with five of pentacles, five of wands. But they feel compelled to deal with their issues and get over whatever it is that's holding them back so that they can be worthy of you because they see you as someone they could have a deeply gratifying relationship with. You're definitely not a lightweight. Um, you've had a lot of life experience. And even though we have these kings and queens, I do feel like there might be an age gap. You could be a few years older than this person or you just have a lot more maturity, a lot more life experience. You could be a single parent. Um, I don't feel like this person's ever been married. I feel like They've had a lot of flings, a lot of relationships that weren't that substantial. And they sense that with you it would be different because they know that you're not going to tolerate something that's just, you know, in and out, hit it and quit it, couple of weeks, couple of months. They know that's not your thing. They wouldn't even try. So they know they have to approach you with respect. That's crystal clear. Two sixes. Yes, they find you very attractive. And they know that you know your worth. Six is Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra. And then five, another five. That's Mercury, which rules Gemini and Virgo. They could have some Gemini in their chart. But I'm seeing instability. Um, and... 
just problems in general and communication. And then three is Jupiter Sagittarius. And then five and three, that's eight. That's Saturn, Capricorn. So they have tremendous respect for you. And that's what I have for pile four. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you massive love and light from San Antonio.